What's happening, YouTube? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here with a two pile um, connection spread. So it's going to be represent you and whoever you're connected to or whoever you're thinking of. So choose pile one or pile two and we'll get started. So the first card is going to represent you, the viewer, which is the eight of swords. So this represents you. Surrounded by obstacles and threats on all sides, you find yourself the victim. You see no way out, no available choices. Your perception, perception, excuse me, not perception, perception keep you from opening your wings and taking flight. What keeps you suspended here, yourself or others? The Eight of Swords demands an answer. You cannot hang here for much longer. So that represented you. The next one is going to represent your challenges. So these will be your challenges. Which is the nine of wands. As nines usually imply, your journey is near completion. But on this final stretch, you find yourself growing weary. Doubt and fear are running through your mind. The Nine of Wands asks you to rally your confidence and realize how far you've come. Lift your eyes and take a few more steps. Soon all your hard work will start to pay off. The next card will represent the other person, the person that you are connected to and thinking of. And it's the Two of Wands. With the Two of Wands, it's clear you are on your way to success. You focused on your goal and have boldly pointed all efforts in that direction. Since the suit of wands deals, with heav deals heavily with the mind, take this time to become aware of your thoughts and patterns specifically toward yourself. What is the quality and tone of your thoughts? Mostly positive or negative. How well do you treat yourself on the journey to your highest dreams? This card represents the, the other person's challenges. So this will be their challenges that they're facing, have faced or will face, I guess. I mean, they, they might have already faced them, I don't know. It just depends what's really going on in your, in your specific situation. It's a Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is not the most welcome card. It indicates you'll face temptation in many aspects of your life. Whether it's cheating for pleasure or for money, you'll soon realize you've been building a house of cards. You may feel as though you can't see clearly, can't judge right from wrong or up from down. This is the spell of the Seven of Cups. It's best to remove yourself for a while, step back until you can see straight again. So that was the challenges that your person that you're connected to is having. And the last card is going to be the Uniting Forces, which is the Magician. It could represent an Aquarius, just take note of that, or might, you might be an Aquarius, or there might not even be an Aquarius in your mix here. Um, but. I just want to throw that out there. The Magician is a card of boundless, expansive energy, whereas many of the major arcana deal with stillness or aspects of the mind. This card is all about action, action, action. It's time to see yourself as the wildcat. Embrace his speed, grace, and abilities. Don't be afraid to begin. You have the power of all four elements within your reach. Now is the time to use them earth, air, fire, water. Okay, pile one, that was your connections spread. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave you some insight on what you are going through. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day. Peace. Pile two, father of swords represents you. This is you in this reading. And if you didn't hear me the first time, this is going to be in a, uh, connection spread so this will be somebody that you feel connected to um, 
If it's a loved one, if it's a friend, whatever it is. Anything can go here. Like all Sor Sword's family, the father has a gift of perception. He has a distinct ability to remove his emotions from a situation so that he can truly see it from all angles. He is therefore respected by others who usually describe him as fair or just. He's a reasonable man with deep ties to his family. This card is going to represent your challenges and it's the mother of pentacles. So that could represent your mother. It could represent your uh, the mother of your children. The mother of pentacles excels in the home. She knows exactly what to do while raising a family and tending to the tasks of daily life. There's a potential for her identity to become wrapped entirely around her children and home, which leaves her needy and attached. This is the cause of most of her turmoil. She often has qualities of a healer and is very connected to nature. So that was that was um, the other person. This represented the person that you were thinking of, if I didn't say that. Oh, I think, no. No, that's your challenges, I, I apologize. That was your challenge, I'm sorry. Now this card represents the other person that you're thinking of, the tower, which that doesn't seem to be, I don't know, doesn't seem to be promising or might put a little fear in you of what might be going on in their life, I'm sure, because no one likes to see the tower, but it doesn't always necessarily mean it has to be extremely bad or you know, maybe they're just going through a rough time. You just never know. Just however, I guess, whatever the circumstances are in your guys' case, I guess, or ever in their case, definitely, I don't know. I always, like, when I get the tower, I cringe. That and the devil. I hate to get the devil card. But then in some in some decks, it's not so bad. But I don't know. I just fear to get that because then I know something's really, I'm doing something wrong or somebody around me is doing something wrong, and it just freaks me out. And it comes up in my readings a lot. Because I have a bunch of devilish people that I am associated with, and most of them are in my family. <laughs> I have to say, um, I don't know. It is what it is. And I can't find the page. I apologize for the delay. The tower. I keep wanting to pull the devil, so that's weird. But uh, we did. I didn't pull the devil in this reading. I did in the last two that I just did. I did one reading for myself, and then I did a, a reading a video before this one that the devil came out again, so. When the tower card appears, it's time to brace yourself for a change. The well-rooted tree that's been growing strong for decades is crashing down around you. Your world may feel as though it literally is falling apart and you didn't see it coming. Even though this phase is painful and confusing, it will be over soon. You'll look back and feel grateful things changed course. You might even see it as a personal breakthrough in the end. The other person's challenge is a five of wands. I like the meaning in this deck um, of the tower because it makes it seem not so bad. <laughs> this is um, my the Wild Unknown deck, by the way. The Five of Wands is a card of conflict. You may find yourself scattered, distracted, tending to everything and nothing. Since wands deal with other dreams and goals, it usually means this conflict resides within. Your energy moves outward in many directions, yet you are suffering inside. Take this card as a warning. Find ways to bring calm and focus to your mind, and these troubles will only in and these troubles will only increase. Sorry, I thought I had read that wrong. So, and then your next card is the nine of swords. I had to count them. <laughs> Told you I do not have my decks memorized whatsoever. I have so many. I just. There's just no way. I mean, it's probably possible if I had a lot of time to really 
study them, but I don't. So, and ext oh, and this is by the way, this is the uh, uniting forces between you, the connect you and your connection. An extremely dark card, the Nine of Swords, reveals the deepest shadows of self. It indicates insomnia, nightmares, and worries in the midnight hour. Often these states are accompanied by guilt, despair, or even depression. You'll be battling with yourself, so turn to others for help. Find joy, reach out. Okay, that is what I have for pile two. I hope it resonated. I hope it gave you some insight into your connection with whomever. And I hope that you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And I hope that everyone has a great rest of their day. Peace.